Hello viewers, it's me again. Uh, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, and today we are looking at organic chemistry, uh, Form 3. Later we look at uh, organic chemistry, Form 4, which we will deal with uh, alkanos. Welcome and stay tuned. So, what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the meaning of the term organic compound. You will also be able to explain or classify organic compounds. You will also be able to explain bonding in carbon atoms. And lastly, you will be able to classify hydrocarbons. So, organic compounds. What is an organic compound? Organic compounds are compounds that contain large atoms of carbon that are covalently bonded together. These compounds, we find them mostly in decomposing organic matter, which may be from our, uh, a, an, an animal or a plant, that is, all of living organisms. When they decompose, they release these organic compounds. So these organic compounds, since they are made up of carbon atoms, it is important for us to understand the structure of carbon atom. So carbon atom has an electronic configuration of 2, 4. The arrangement, it's atomic number 6, hence the configuration 2, 4. Uh, this tells us that this atom is unstable. So for it to attain stability, it bonds covalently to atoms of other carbons, and it can as well as bond covalently to atoms of other elements such as hydrogen, sodium, among others. There are several atoms to which carbon atom can bond covalently. Uh, what are the types of organic compounds that we have? So we have what we refer to as hydrocarbon, which we normally look at in organic chemistry one. So what is a hydrocarbon? This is a compound that is made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms only. That's what we refer to as a hydrocarbon. We also have alkanos, alkanoic or, and alkanoic compounds, also known as carboxylic compounds. We study them under organic chemistry too, uh, classified as a topic in chemistry book four. Uh, what are organic, uh, what are alkanos or alkanoic acid? These are compounds that are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So those are the two main types of organic compounds that we are going to look at as we continue with uh, organic chemistry. So hydrocarbons, as we have mentioned, they are made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms only. So they are grouped according to the number of covalent bonds between carbon atoms. So if in a chain or in an organic compound, we have a single atom between, uh, that is a single bond, sorry, between carbon, carbon atom, then we refer to them as alkanes. If we have a double bond between carbon-carbon atoms, uh, that is two bonds that are covalent, we refer to it as an alkene, or it is classified as an alkene. And lastly, we have triple bond between carbon atoms. That is three bonds between carbon-carbon atom, and they are referred to as alkynes. So those are the three main groups of hydrocarbons. So where do they come from? Sources of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons, we get them from crude oil, which is the main source of hydrocarbons. We also get these organic compounds or hydrocarbons in biogas or decomposing organic matter, which may be from uh, market garbage or cow dung. We get, uh, we get biogas there, which is a main source of hydrocarbon. So, did we get to understand uh, today's lesson? We can do uh, more by improving our understanding through answering the following questions. One, can we distinguish between an organic compound and inorganic compound? Number two, uh, state the three categories of hydrocarbons. And number uh, three, we name the sources of alkanes. Where do we have these sources? This is our first lesson introduction. 
and you can as well as refer to the following reference to get a uh, more understanding concerning introduction to organic compounds. Uh, you can also reach the reasons that follow. You can contact us through the following. You can send us an SMS through the number on your screen. You can as well as visit us on YouTube, that is at Erimu TV. Also, a uh, Facebook page, and you can as well as give us a tweet at Elimu TV underscore KE. So make sure you tune to the next lesson. I'm your teacher once again, Mr. Mongi Francis, and stay tuned to Erimu TV. Thank you.